हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल रुद्रा स्टडी सर्कल मेरे यूट्यूब चैनल रुद्रा स्टडी सर्कल में आप लोगों का स्वागत है इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन रेट ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ न्यूटन डेप्सन मेथड सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव गिवन एक्सप्लेनेशन अबाउट द न्यूटन डेप्सन मेथड एंड नाउ विल डिस्कस रेट ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस of that method so what is the rate of convergence rate of convergence is a measurement of any numerical method how fast it approach to the exact solution if rate of convergence is high it means that particular numerical method is approaching the exact solution very fast as compared to the one which has low rate of convergence fine it means the high rate of convergence numerical methods are more efficient than low rate of convergence numerical methods okay so let us see so what is the definition of rate of convergence <coughs> let f of x equal to 0 is the given equation we need to find the root of this equation so let us define alpha is the exact root alpha is the exact root of this equation then what is the error of this iteration error will be difference between exact solution and numerical solution fine let us take xn xn is the numerical solution of this f after nth iteration then we'll have c epsilon n equal to xn minus alpha the difference between approximate solution and exact solution is called error of the numerical method error of this particular iteration okay so difference between difference between approximate solution and exact solution so always we'll try to minimize this error in the any numerical method okay now what is the rate of convergence so if epsilon is the epsilon n is the error of nth iteration and epsilon n plus 1 is the error the error of n plus 1 iteration then the number p is called rate of convergence if epsilon n plus 1 is directly proportional to epsilon power p if the error of n n plus 1 iteration is directly proportional to uh, the error of nth iteration power p or if you remove this proportionality constant so we can have epsilon n plus 1 equal to k into epsilon p if you get this form for any numerical method so we can say p is the rate of convergence p is the rate of convergence fine so let us take for the newton epsilon method so what we have definite formula x n plus 1 equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash xn fine okay so let us define that epsilon n plus 1 is equal to the approximate solution of n plus 1 iteration minus alpha alpha is the same exact root and epsilon n equal to xn minus alpha fine so this imply x n plus 1 equal to epsilon n plus 1 plus alpha and this imply equal to x n equal to epsilon alpha fine let us substitute here so what we get epsilon n plus 1 plus alpha equal to x n x n equal to epsilon n plus alpha minus f of xn that is epsilon plus alpha divided by f dash epsilon n plus 
So this alpha alpha cancel. So we get epsilon n plus 1 equal to epsilon 1 minus f of plus alpha divided with f plus epsilon plus alpha. Fine. Now here we have f of epsilon plus alpha and f dash epsilon plus alpha. So this will open using the Taylor expansion of fx. So we will see what is the Taylor expansion. So for that we have f of x plus alpha equal to f of alpha plus x into f dash alpha plus x square by factorial to f dash alpha plus dot dot. So this is a Taylor series expansion. So using Taylor series expansion, we can extend this one. So we have x equal to epsilon n and alpha is n. So we can write epsilon minus f epsilon plus alpha. So this will be your f of alpha plus epsilon f dash alpha plus epsilon whole square by f double dash alpha plus dot dot dot. Fine. This is the infinite series divided by f dash. So it will be your f dash alpha plus epsilon f double dash alpha plus epsilon whole square by 2 f triple dash alpha plus dot dot. Fine. Okay. So now epsilon is the error of your this numerical method, right? Error of nth iteration. So it will be very small, and if you make it square, it will be more smaller. So this tends to zero, right? So since epsilon n is the error of nth iteration, that will be very very small. So the square and higher power of epsilon will be very small so that we can neglect so neglecting epsilon n square and its high power of this why because very small 0 point suppose epsilon equal to 0 0.001 so square will be 0 0.00001 like that so it will be very small right so it can be neglectable neg neg right so we are neglecting epsilon square and higher, uh, higher power of epsilon n so we get the epsilon n plus 1 equal to epsilon minus f of alpha plus epsilon f dash alpha and this will be 0 we have neglected that divided by f dash alpha plus epsilon f double dash alpha fine now let us take LCM so we get epsilon f dash alpha plus epsilon is square f double dash alpha fine okay minus minus f of alpha minus epsilon f dash alpha divided by f dash alpha plus epsilon f double dash alpha so this will be uh, cancel right epsilon f dash alpha and this is 0, f alpha is 0, why? Because alpha is the exact root, right? Alpha is the exact root. So, f alpha will be 0. In that assumption, we have alpha is the exact root. So, we get epsilon n plus 1 equal to epsilon square f double dash alpha divided by f dash alpha plus epsilon f double dash alpha so let us try to see what is the relation between epsilon n plus 1 and epsilon so here i can have epsilon square f dash alpha and here we can take f dash alpha you can take common so we get 1 plus epsilon f double dash alpha by f dash alpha fine so this will be your epsilon square f double dash alpha by f dash alpha and 1 plus 
एफ साइनल सी एफ डबल डैस अल्फा बाई सी एफ डैस अल्फा पावर माइनस वन फाइन देन इस विल बी एफ साइनल स्क्वायर सी एफ डबल डैस अल्फा बाई सी एफ डैस अल्फा एंड इस विल बी वन माइनस एफ साइनल सी एफ डबल डैस अल्फा बाई सी एफ डैस अल्फा प्लस एफ साइनल स्क्वायर सी एफ डबल डैस अल्फा स्क्वायर बाई सी एफ डैस अल्फा स्क्वायर फैक्टोरियल टू स्क्वायर This is the constant. This is the constant. So we get R. We can say epsilon n plus one is directly proportional to epsilon whole square. So this is your. We say epsilon n plus one is the directly proportional to the square of epsilon n. So the rate of convergence. Rate of convergence, R O C we can see two. So this is also called the quadratic convergence. So Newton Epsilon method has quadratic convergence. Rate of convergence is two. Fine. So in the same way, we'll try to find the rate of convergence of other numerical methods. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. like and share thank you